Well, Linda Lavin is known for making us laugh over the years, like in her iconic role as Alice, or more recently as Sean Hayes' mother on Sean Saves the World. <laughs> yes, but she can bring us to tears just as well, as we see in her new film, A Short History of Decay. Take a look. He's scared. He's so scared. He doesn't want you to know. He doesn't want to show it. He panics every time I leave the room for five minutes. You know? He loves you, Mom. Yeah. He loves me. And Linda is here mm -hmm. with us now. Looks good. Looks moving. It's Brian Greenberg. Isn't yeah, lovely. love him. Yeah, it is. It's moving. It's a very touching story, and it's also uh, funny in the way people are. But you funny. say it's not depressing, even though your oh, character no. is in the early stages of Alzheimer's. Your husband just yeah. had a stroke. Your sons are moving back home to kind no, of help no, no, you There's out. a lot of fire in it that keeps it from being dep depressing. She's pissed off at her son because he's <laughs> what's he doing with his life? <laughs> and the other son she thinks is so famous. Here's another scene. And they're in the car together, and she keeps saying, "You're going the wrong." way you're going the wrong way what's poignant and different about this movie is that she knows that she is in the early stages of Alzheimer's okay. and so it makes it different from the other movies that we've seen which are further along well, people, right. don't, don't, people it. don't know yeah. that, that it's happening yeah. so they're 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 gone in a way that the memory is gone and the mind is is weaker but she knows it's happening and she's struggling against it her husband played by the glorious Harris Eulin has just had a stroke he's worried about her she's worried about him and the kids come and they're both a couple of, you know, yeah. uh, unfortunate <laughs> losers. They, uh, she's choosing she's, her words here. But they're so funny. The dynamic but is so interesting. So, it, is, it is a dynamic is. of real life family in uh, crisis and not knowing what to do about it until she has this scene with him where she says, you know, I'm going to need to look into a place because I'm going to need some help so soon. So it's relatable. Yeah. Now, it's relatable. so relatable. Yeah. That's right. Families now, are going through this. Your mm -hmm. character is actually based on Michael Maron's mother who was going through this as well. Right. Now, did you get a chance to meet her or is, do you find it harder to play someone in real life because you kind of have to live well, up to she, them? Actually the chance was not mine mm -hmm. to, to have and uh, she uh, didn't want it and so I respected that and that was fine I wasn't you know gonna do research on on her if she wasn't comfortable with that right. also how do you do that so really as an actor my job is to use my imagination get as much information as I can the script has a lot of information in it she has flare-ups she's nervous she's sweet she's funny she's here she's present she's not mm -hmm. kind of like life you know yeah. so uh, that's, that's why you're a pro you pull mm -hmm. all that <laughs> and when the script is good you go with the diagram in the script and it's there it was all present on the page yeah so yeah well you know can we also talk about the fact that you are such a Broadway darling and that you're returning to the stage in too much sun yes please which talk opens about at that. the Vineyard Theater on May 18th that's, that's right this. oh there I am in my love there you scene. are <laughs> I don't know that I've had a love scene on or off Broadway in a very very long time uh -oh. <laughs> that's the lovely Richard Deacons he's a wonderful actor my daughter is played by Jennifer Westfeld this is a new Nikki Silver play that he wrote for me oh since goodness. I did the Lions with him two years ago at the Vineyard Theater on Union Square. It's on 15th Street, a wonderful theater off Broadway, and we're opening this Sunday. Yeah. Can we also yeah. talk about, we don't want to let you get away with talking about Alice for all those fans out there. <laughs> Your uniform from there is going to be in the Smithsonian. It's there now. It's where? just the exhibit started on March, uh, in March, That's I mean. Fantastic. And it's going all the way through September. Isn't that exciting? Have you gone to visit? I donated the uniform. And they, I'm going to go as soon as my play finishes, June 22nd, the Too Much Sun at the Vineyard. Okay. As soon as it finishes, I'm going to go down to Washington and we'll make an event out of it. It's really exciting. They're doing a, a series on working women, and of course, she has to be uh, yes, she at does. the forefront of that series. Absolutely. It's very exciting. Well, it is lovely to meet you. Thank you, you are so busy much lady. for having me. <laughs> I am. I like being busy. That's good. Well, for more info on Too Much Sun, go to vineyardtheater.org and, of course, check out. A short history of decay when it opens at the Village East Cinema this Friday, May 16th. Lovely Thanks for having you. me. Oh, thank you. Pleasure. Well, athletic details are one of spring's hottest styles, mm -hmm. and one of the easiest ways to try the trend is with your footwear. Yeah, so I got to look at some stylish sneakers that will take you far.